In this question, we're going to see how long does it take for $8,300 to be doubled it if we are going to invest the money into an account that has the APR being 8% and the account is going to compound interest for you quarterly. Well, because you see it compounds quarterly, right? So we have to use the compound interest formula. And let me write this down for you guys. A stands for the amount that we are going to get. And then this is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT power like this. This P stands for the principal. That means how much money you have to begin with. And the R is the interest rate. And the N is how many times we compound it in one year. And T is how many years. And because we're talking about APR, A stands for annual. That means year, OK? This is the formula we're going to use. And now let's go back to the question again. First of all, it says how long does it take for $8,300 to be doubled, in, right? Well, this is how much money we have at the moment. That is the principal. That's the P. That's the initial amount. So we can write this down right here. 8300 for the P. And to double, well, that's the amount of what we're trying to get, right? I want to double of this amount. I just have to multiply this by 2. That's the amount I want to get. And it will be 16,600. And once again, all we are doing is we take this and double it. So let me write this down. 8,300 times 2, like that. And of course, we want to finish the rest of the formula. The 1 is always the 1. And we add the R is the interest rate, which is 8%. And we change that to decimal. 8% in the decimal form is 0 0.08. And over, over what? Well, right here it says compounds quarterly, right? That means N is equal to 4, because there are 4 quarters in one year. Therefore, I'm going to divide the R by 4 right here. And notice that for the exponent, we have NT. N is equal to 4, so we put the 4 right here. And T, we don't know. And that's exactly what we're trying to solve for, right? So this right here is the equation. And now we can just go ahead and solve it. Perhaps let's work out the inside first. And let me write this down again. This is 16,600, and this is equal to 8,300. Inside, let's just you know, use a calculator. We'll just uh, work this out in your head or so. This is 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. This is 0 0.02 plus 1 is 1.02. And this is still raised to the 4t power like this. Notice that the t is in the exponent. We have to isolate this part first. I need to get rid of this, right? So let me divide both sides by 8300. And they will cancel. This divided by that, it's going to be 2. And you know it's 2 <laughs> because it's doubling the amount, right? The amount is doubling the principal, I mean, so that should be 2. And let me just write this down for you. This part, let me write it down on the left-hand side. 1.02 raised to the 4 t power. This is equal to this right here, which is just 2. And now what? Well, because t is in the exponent, this is an exponential equation. We have to use logarithms. Right here, let me take log with the base being 1.02. Keep in mind, the base have to match so that we can cancel them out. Right here, we do the same. This is log base 1.02. And we have to put this on the calculator, OK? This right here on the left-hand side is just 4t. And this is approximately do this on the calculator. And the way to do it is maybe you have a base key for the calculator. If not, you have to enter this as log of the inside, which is 2. And you divide it by log of 1.02. And notice the log I'm using right here, your calculator has to have it, right? That's just a regular calculator log. Okay, So this is a change of base formula. This right here allows you to uh, figure out this value here. And once you do that, you will get about 35. 0.003, and let me just divide both sides by 4, cancel, cancel, and t is approximately 8.751. And we are done. So it's about 8.751 years. 
not so bad, right? Because after this many years, the amount will be doubled.